Hi, I'm Dia. Welcome to 30 Day Yoga Party Day 26. Today we have another quick and dirty flow with a handful of back bends. I would have one yoga strap available to you, and I'll see you on the mat. Hi friends, come on to the back of your mat. Find yourself in a comfortable child's pose. Good. Stretch those fingers long, forehead to the earth. <sighs> Let your belly spill between your thighs and your third eye connected to the earth. Oh, go ahead and make some sound <laughs> as you come down from your day or start your day. I guess I don't know when you're really doing these videos, but regardless of the details, we are taking this moment to arrive on our mat. And signaling to our body that we're about to move into a yoga practice, letting our mind still away from the chaos that surrounds us. It's unavoidable. It's not just you. Let's take an inhale together here and exhale. Gaze between your palms, tent up on your fingers, walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. They might come right off your mat. Let that left hip continue to drag back. Fingers stay tented up. You can release your forehead back to the earth or keep it hovering right over the ground. Looking for a nice juicy stretch through your left side body, your ribs through your armpit. Breathe in. And breathe out. With the bottom of your exhale, come through center and over to the other side. Good. Keep those uh, fingers tented. With that action, we're letting our arms stay engaged here. So this is less of a restorative restful pose and more of a we mean business pose. Take an inhale and exhale. Come through center. Lift your gaze and you're going to slide forward to land on your belly. Coming to Sphinx pose. Let your elbows stack right underneath your shoulders. Tops of feet resting on the earth. Palms face down. And start to Lower your chin towards your chest and then lift your gaze up. Continue that movement here. Exhale as we fold into ourselves and inhale as we open. One more exhale and inhale. Let your gaze move left and then to the right and to the left and to the right. Okay, bring it through center. Let your elbows widen. Zip up your inner thighs. Big toes come to touch. Reach your fingertips back behind you. Let your palms face down towards the floor. And we're going right for it this morning, but as always, Ease in, meet your edge. So inhale to lift your legs, lift your shoulders, lift your chest, fingertips, hover off the ground as they reach back, coming into locust pose. And we'll exhale to stay. Feel the crown of your head lengthening away from the tips of your toes, toes reaching back away from the crown of your head. Lots of length through our body here as we take one more inhale. 
and exhale, float everything back to the mat. You can draw your palms underneath your shoulders and then press back to a child's pose. Good, breathe in here. And breathe out. Shift your weight forward to your palms, tuck your toes, downward face dog. You might need to walk your hands forward just a little bit. As always, adjust as needed. Breathe in here. And breathe out. Feel the back of your legs open up. Nice yawn through your side body, armpits open, throat open. Take another inhale. And exhale. Breathe in, lift right leg up and back. Breathe out, step forward to your right thumb. Pause here in this low lunge, and then heel toe your right foot wider over to the right. And step this back foot in, rotate your heel down about 45 degrees. We're in this very wide warrior one stance here. Sweep your fingertips to the sky. Beautiful. And then draw that right hip back. Let your left hip rotate forward. Fingertips reach to the sky. Take another inhale here. And as you exhale, draw your right fingertips behind you to the back of your left thigh. Left fingers reach to the sky. You can also bring your hand to your low back. And just keep those left fingers reaching up right above you. Gaze towards your fingertips. Front knee is bent. Inhale here. And exhale, cartwheel your hands back down to the mat. Wow, step back to downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, lift left leg up and back. Exhale, step to your left thumb. Heel toe your left foot out to the edge of your mat. Rotate your back heel down 45 degrees, sweep fingers to the sky, Virabhadrasana one with a nice wide base. Left hip draws back, right hip rotates forward. Fingertips to the sky, inhale here. And as you exhale, left fingertips reach back to your right thigh, right fingers to the sky, front knee stays bent. Meet your edge. Take an inhale. And exhale, cartwheel everything back to the mat. Step back to a plank and lower to your stomach for another locust pose. Point your toes, zip up your inner thighs. This time, interlace your fingers at your low back. Inhale, send your knuckles towards your heels as you lift your legs, lift your chest. Gaze as soft and forward. Beautiful work. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stay. One more inhale. And exhale. Float everything down. Palms under your shoulders. Press back to child's pose. Nice work. Inhale. And exhale. Lift your gaze forward, shift your weight forward, downward facing dog again. And we'll take that same warrior one and we'll build onto that. Inhale, lift right leg up and back. Exhale, step forward to your right thumb, set up your wide stance. Left foot grounds to the earth, front knee stays bent, sweet fingers to the sky, breathe in. And as you breathe out, right palm back to your left thigh, left fingers to the sky. Take another inhale here. Straighten your front leg, you got this. As you exhale, keep your arms wide. Left fingertips come down to the earth, right fingertips to the sky. Moving to a revolved triangle pose. Gorgeous work, everybody. Draw your right hip back. This hop hand can always come to your low back. Awesome, take an inhale and exhale. Cartwheel your right hand down inside of your right foot. Bend your right knee and turn your toes out slightly, coming to this lizard pose. Fantastic. You can sway forward and back. That feels nice to you. 
And then press your palms down, step to downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, lift left leg up and back. Exhale, step forward to your left thumb. Set up your wide warrior one back heel. Rotates down, fingertips reach to the sky. Inhale here. Exhale, left palm down, right fingers reach high. Good. Take another inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, reach your right fingertips forward, left fingers to the sky. Beautiful. Draw that left hip back. Rotate around your spine. Take an inhale. And exhale. Left hand comes forward. Bend your left knee. Slide your right foot back. Setting up for a lizard on the other side. Left toes turn out slightly. Good. Pause for a moment. Let this settle in. And then when you're ready, Step your right foot forward outside of your right hand, coming into Malasana Yogi Squat Garland Pose. Fantastic. I've said this many times, I'll say it many more. Elbows inside of your knees, pressing into your knees at the same time, knees squeeze against your elbows. Good. And those two energies help us to lengthen down through our tailbone and up through the crown of our head. Breathe in and breathe out. Reach your left fingers to the earth, right fingers to the sky. Open up through your chest. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, come back through center, moving to the other side. Right fingers down, left fingers high. Inhale. And exhale back through center. Nice work. Okay, so from here, I want you to shift your weight into the pinky edge side of your feet here. Bring your hands behind you and then come to sit on the earth. Soles of feet come to touch. Great, and then go ahead and scoot to the back part of your mat. Thumbs to the arches of your feet. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, hinge forward from your hip crease, elbows draw in towards your ribs. And like you're gazing over your toes into a pond here. Or, you know, um, you like to hike, maybe you're looking over the summit at all you've just accomplished. Just right over the edge. Good, inhale. And exhale. Lift your chest. Bring your knees in through center. And extend your left leg long. You're gonna cross your right foot right over your left thigh. Beautiful. Tend your right fingers behind you and then uh, hug your right knee into your chest with your left arm. And I want you to inhale to lengthen through your spine. And as you exhale, rotate. Gaze back over your right shoulder. Choose one spot to rest your focus on. As you breathe into this twist. Inhale. And exhale. Release this. Coming to an open twist, you can bring your right hand inside of your, um, gosh, inside of your right foot. Tend your left fingers behind you. There we go. Or really whatever makes sense for you. I just want you to feel this opening through your chest. Again, fix your gaze, rest your gaze on one spot. Good, inhale. And exhale. You can release that twist. From here, I want you to bring your right ankle over your left thigh. So we're in this figure four relationship here. And then reach forward to take hold of the outside edge of your foot, ankle, shin, whatever you can get your hands on. If you have a strap, you can always wrap that around. 
depending on where you are most tight, you're either going to feel this in the back of your left leg or in your um, outer right hip, or maybe all of the above. <laughs> That's okay, just breathe on through it, take an inhale. And exhale. And release this stretch. Send your right leg forward. Step left foot over your right thigh to do it all on the other side. So we'll tent left fingers behind us, hug our knee to our chest. Inhale to lengthen. And then exhale to rotate open. Gaze back over your left shoulder. Hmm. Notice if everything is crawling up towards your ears and see if you can soften down. Maintain this twist. Take one more inhale. And exhale. Release that open twist to the other side. Right finger is now tent behind you. Really nice, everybody. Be with your breath. Let it be easy. One more inhale. And exhale. Let that go. Left ankle over your right thigh. Flex your left foot and then reach forward. Oof. Uh, Good. Sometimes I wonder if I'm not cueing breath, if everybody's just holding their breath, waiting for the instruction, but I know that's not true. I know you will continue to breathe. And sometimes it's nice to have the, the space to just sort of make our own choices and breathe how we want to breathe while we're in these sort of intense stretch moments. But with that in mind, let's take one more inhale together. And exhale. Good. Release that. Send two legs long in front of you. I want you to scoot your tail towards your heels, and then we're going to come and lay on our stomach facing the back of our mat. One final back bend for our practice, moving to Danyarasana bow pose. Okay, buddy, zip up those inner thighs. <sighs> bend two knees and reach back to take hold of the outside edge of your feet. Before we lift, think about your knees stretching behind you, lengthening behind you all through the front of your thighs and your hip flexors. And now, as you breathe in, press your feet into your hands to lift your chest. Thighs will come off the earth. Oh, mama. Beautiful work. See if you can press your pubic bone down into the floor. Continue to press your feet into your hands, gaze forward, chest is open. Take one more inhale. And exhale, soften down to the floor. Release your hands, you can let your legs sway from side to side. Mm -hmm. And then let that go. Roll to your back. Hug your knees to your chest and pause. Inhale. And exhale. Let your feet float down to your mat. And we have made it to Shavasana. Mm -hmm. Find a comfortable spot, palms face up to the sky, toes fall open, nose up to the ceiling, and let's breathe in together and breathe out. 
to stay for Shavasana. Deepen your breath. Invite some easy movement back to your body. As you bring your awareness back to this mat, this body, this moment. Reach your arms overhead. Nice full body stretch. And then bend your knees. Roll over to your side and walk yourself up to a comfortable seat and we'll face towards each other. Once you arrive, press palms to heart center and bow your head towards your heart. With so much gratitude, thank you for your practice. Namaste. Thank you.